Sonic the Hedgehog, birthplace of some of the best songs you'll ever hear from a video game, from orchestral masterpieces to alternative rock music that rivals some of the best bands there is out there. That is why, in today's video, we will be ranking every Sonic game by how good the official soundtrack is. Starting with Sonic the Hedgehog 1, a classic game with a classic soundtrack. It'd be a shame if I don't rate this game at least like an A. Like, Green Hill Zone alone deserves an S rank by itself. And then we have other bangers, like Spring Yard Zone, so... I'm gonna have to put Sonic the Hedgehog 1 in S rank. Next is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Now you guys might hate me for this, so hear me out. There are bangers in this game such as Chemical Plant, Metropolis Zone, Boss Music, Honesty's a banger too. Death Egg Robot is another banger too. Actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it out loud, I like more songs in this soundtrack than I do in Sonic the Hedgehog 1. So I think I'm gonna have to put Sonic the Hedgehog Two above Sonic 1 in S tier 2. Next is Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Now with this game, I love the soundtrack. In my opinion, this game has more bangers than 1 and 2 combined. It's like, I love Angel Island, Hydro City, Marble Garden, Ice Cap Zone. It's like, every Sonic game, the tracks just keep getting better and better. And I don't know how they do it. Like, if you have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I don't like the game of Sonic the Hedgehog 3. But I'm gonna have to put it above everything else in the S tier. Next is Sonic CD. Now I know anyone, like any sane person is not going to disagree with me, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this at the very top above every classic Sonic game so far. And I'm at the point where I'm kind of scared now that we're going to end up with like no, nothing like lower than a B rank, but I mean, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But next is Sonic R. Now the only reason I'm doing this game is because... I love the soundtrack. There's like so many great tracks in this. Like, can you feel the sunshine living in the city? Honestly, I can't name a single bad track in this game, but I think I'll put this in third place actually behind Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Next is Sonic Adventure. Like, this is possibly like one of the hardest rankings to do because, first of all, S tier again, by the way. I don't know where I'm going to put it in S tier, so I'm just going to put it back here. Obviously, obviously not right there. I'm just going to have to contemplate my my decision. But, like, this is the game that introduced... Um, Excuse my cat. I don't know what she wants. We're actually just going to put it right here so everyone can see her. But, God, bro, this is the Sonic game that they decided to add rock music into the game. And that just, like, opened your heart. You, you just can't get better with a Sonic soundtrack. Like... This is what introduced everything, basically. So I think I'm actually going to put this right behind CD. I don't think it's better than CDs. You might disagree with that. I'm not going <sighs> to... This is a very hard tier list to do because all of these are S ranks. S tier, whatever you want to do it. S rank, S tier, same, same thing. Next is Sonic Adventure 2. Another game, another S tier. I, like, I shouldn't have to say anything at all. Live and Learn should be enough just to put this game above Sonic CD. For any, any sane person at all. Next is Sonic Heroes. Now, while this game does have good tracks, I still believe this... Honestly, I think this might have to be our first non-S-ranked Sonic game. So, I think I'm going to put it in the S tier. Solely because of what I'm made of. Because that soundtrack is extremely good. I think everyone loves it. But it's just not enough to get over the hump. Which is the S tier. The S tier is too special for Sonic Heroes. It's It doesn't have enough aura. Next is Shadow the Hedgehog. Now, this game is... I, I think this game is another A rank, unfortunately. They're the two, three songs that I absolutely adore. It, it just can't carry it enough to an S tier. So, I, I don't know. It's either a B tier or A tier. So, I'm just... We're going to put it at A tier. Mm, B tier. God, then I want to put Sonic Heroes in B tier. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it like that for now. But, I, hey, don't hate me for that. To all you Shadow fans out there, do not hate me for this. Right, Mr. Tom Run? Anyway, next is Sonic 06. Now, I shouldn't have to say anything at all about Sonic 06 and its soundtrack. As much as someone can hate Sonic 06, you cannot hate that soundtrack. To this day, I believe the whole budget of Sonic 06 went into the soundtrack, and once they started working on the actual game, they ran out of money! I could go on and on about this, like, let's see, we got His World, Dreams of That Solution, we got Kingdom Valley, Crisis City, Egg Genesis, Egg Dragoon, or not Egg Dragoon, Egg Cerberus, Egg Wyvern, All Hell Shadow, White Acropolis, what the hell, this would probably be, like, regarded as one of the best Sonic games if it wasn't for Sonic and the Secret Rings. Anyway, if it wasn't obvious already, 
it is an S tier. Next is Sonic and the Secret Rings. Now there are some good songs here. I'm not gonna be biased about it because I hate the game. I do enjoy some of the songs on there, but I just feel like it's a B tier. And I'm actually gonna put it behind Shadow of the Hedgehog because I think Shadow of the Hedgehog is a little bit better. Next is Sonic Unleashed. My favorite Sonic game of all time, and I'm gonna have to let go of my cat now. Goodbye, Miss Sombra. <sighs> so this is where the challenge really starts because how am I going to rate one or the other? Sonic 06 or Sonic Unleashed? Uh, so how about I go over the tracks I do not enjoy? <clears throat> we got Tails Tornado Defense Battle, and I think that's about it. Out of the entire soundtrack, that's the only one I dislike. So, um, for Sonic 06, we got, um, well, I listened to every single song, and honestly, the only ones that I didn't like were the town missions, and I feel like those shouldn't count, because it's not really a level, but damn, neither is the tornado one. That's not really a level, so I don't know which one to place higher. This is really tough, so I think I'm actually gonna give the edge to Sonic 06 and play Sonic Unleashed to second place uh, because as great and perfect as Sonic Unleashed is, I think I do love the Sonic 06 soundtracks a little bit more. Next is Sonic and the Black Knight. Now this has some really good bangers, but not enough to give it an A or an S rank, so I'm actually gonna leave it in the B tier. And honestly, the more I look at it, the more I want to move Sonic Heroes down from A tier to B tier. But I don't know. I think I'm going to put it behind Shadow the Hedgehog. Maybe, 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 maybe. I don't know. I'm like, like I'm itching. I don't. I'm actually going to. I'm doing it. I don't care. If y'all hate me for that, I don't care. Anywho, next is Sonic Colors. Now, Sonic Colors, pretty much every Sonic game has a banger final boss music. But I feel like the rest of the soundtrack doesn't have the same aura as the previous game. So I think we're actually going to put it in the C tier. Our first C tier game, Sonic Colors. Next is Sonic Generations. Now this one's easy to rank because not only does it include Sonic games from the past, but some of the best stages from each game, which translates to some of the best soundtracks included in this game, but remixed. And some of the best remixes are Rooftop Run, Crisis City, Speed Highway, and let's not forget, Egg Dragoon. But here we go, another S tier, and oh my god, where should I put it? Um, is it better than Sonic CDs? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I think, uh, you know what? Just because it has so many tracks from the old games, I'm going to put it in third place in S tier. Anywho, next is Sonic Lost World. Now, this is probably one of the most forgettable soundtracks in Sonic history, so I'm actually going to put this one in D tier because I don't think I can name a single... Mm, I can name like one or two, but that's literally about it. This soundtrack was just not good. Anyway, next is Sonic Boom, and I just realized that there's no Sonic Boom in this tier list, so we're just going to use Sonic 4 and just... um, This one should be pretty easy to understand. Sonic Boom is an E tier, so... Next game is Sonic Mania. Now for Sonic Mania, this has one of the most iconic soundtracks in Sonic history with Studioopolis, Stardust Speedway, as well as many others. I can't name all of them at the top of my head right now. I haven't played Sonic Mania in a while. But besides it being an S tier, I think I'm going to put this one above Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Sonic Adventure, Sonic CD, I don't think, yeah, I'm gonna put it above Sonic CD. Next is Sonic Forces. Now, this one had one memorable track, which was the infinite boss fight, but besides that, I don't know any of the tracks besides Lost Valley. That, that's pretty much it. So it's between C and D tier, honestly gonna go with a D tier. I think this is another D tier for me. Next is Sonic Frontiers. Now, Sonic Frontiers' soundtrack, it's perfect, with the island's music's calm full vibe to the harsh contrast that the Titan boss fights give, it's perfect. But when Sonic Frontiers first came out, those Titan boss fights were on my playlist and I was bumping them for months. And I haven't done that with any other Sonic games, so I feel like, I feel like we're gonna have to put this one right next to my buddy Sonic Unleashed. Now finally, but not least, this one's a mixed bag for me, and I'm pretty sure it is for a couple people as well. I feel like this game had some pretty good tracks, but they weren't the best. So this game, I'm putting it in the C tier, I believe. I believe a C 
is adequate for Sonic Superstars. And damn, we didn't get a single A tier. Well, besides Sonic Heroes, but then I decided that we should move it down. Maybe we could move out, move up Sonic and the Black Knight. Maybe, maybe we could. Maybe we could. I think we should. All right, so this is going to be my final ranking of every Sonic game based on how good the soundtrack is. Let me know what you would change in the comments down below. Should I move some things out of the S tier? Should I move some things up a little bit? I don't know. Let me know. Also, let me know what you guys want to see me rank next in the comments down below. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content. And see you guys next time.